this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask! Let's head on over to the Magic Hag's Potion Shop so we can find Kume and get a boat ride through the rest of the swamp here. Now for this part, we got all these lily pads here that you can uh, hop over from one to the next as Deku Link. If you try walking on them with Hylian Link, well, let's show you. Yeah, you're too heavy and it just sinks, so you have to swim, but that takes longer. So I like using the death commands. Just make sure to spin as you're uh, going from lily pad to lily pad and you'll be fine. But let's see. Okay, yeah, we're in the right direction here. What do we got going on here? Deku Baba! This is my personal favorite place to farm Deku Nuts because you got the one right there. Then you got another one right here. And by the time you go back to the other one, it'll have respawned. And you could just go back and forth, back and forth, over and over again really quickly. And if it's day two, when you get to the potion shop, someone's riding a broom out of it for some reason and going into a cave. Okay. Well, if you try going up to the potion shop, now, uh, no one's there. So, yeah, we can't find Kume that way. What do we got here? Oh, okay. Well, I don't have anything to hold spring water in, but I'll keep that in mind. Let's see. So, I'll just tell you, we need to go follow whoever that was into the... Well, it's not really a cave, but it looks like it from over here to me. I don't know. If only there were a way I could cut all of these down in one go, but sadly, I cannot. But all right, let's see what we got here. Whoa! It's like the Lost Woods. Yeah, pretty much. And Nodsguard warned me about those turtles. Holy cow! Now, what you're supposed to do to go through the area in the proper order, talk to the monkey. And depending on what day it is, the monkey will take a different path through the Woods of Mystery. And I do want it to be day two, partially because it takes me to this place. Another hidden grotto. If you take the wrong path through the Woods of Mystery, it'll just send you right back to the entrance. So don't do that. Just follow the monkey and you'll be fine. The other reason why I want it to be day two when I'm going through the Woods of Mystery is because, well, you saw someone heading on over here, and it'll make things a little faster. You'll see why when uh, I get there to that point. See any more? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's get out of here, and where's the monkey? Well, yeah went off somewhere so let's get out of here and reset the location of the monkey and then we can actually go through sounds like a plan i already know the path he's going to take to get through here so i don't need the monkey to lead me over there hopefully he won't take 110 rupees from me is that turtle talking to me making some kind of noise. Ah, there you are. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, I just followed you over here, but uh, yeah, we need to get to the boat. Are you cutting me? Ah, okay, you must be uh, Kotake? Was that the name of the other one? Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Let's uh, go follow the monkey. Whoa! Did that turtle just tell me to get wrecked? Sounds like what he was saying to me. I mean, it is a Zelda game. But alright, so what you need to do to proceed here... Yeah, she went here getting mushrooms for potions or something. Remember that for later, viewers. But right now, we can't get any. Oh. Yeah, now he is. Oh. Um, do I? I don't know. I've got bombs. Those are pretty energetic. Will that work? No, evidently not. But uh, you do need to talk to her to advance the sequence trigger. Get wrecked. 
I swear, that's what it sounds like these turtles are saying to me. But all right, so because it's day two, we can just find Kotake over here and she'll be able to help us. If it's not day two, you'll have to go all the way back to the potion shop, buy a red potion, and then bring it to Kaume that way. But uh, because it's day two, we can get it directly from her. Hooray! So yeah, day two, it, all, it just all works out the way I want it to. Uh, I hope this is the right way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I recognize those turtles taunting me anywhere. Oh yeah, we got those Deku flowers around here. If you sink into them and... Uh, what is it? A turtle charges towards you and you release just as the turtle is running over the uh, Deku flower. You can flip it over and then you can damage it normally. But that takes too long. You can also use bombs to do the same thing. When it tries to run over a bomb, it'll, well, explode. Hey! hey. Whoa! Oh, uh, you're welcome? Hey, hey, all right! Well, there we are. And once you've given the red potion to her, we got our first empty bottle. So that'll be pretty useful for us uh, coming up here. But, uh, all right, we're done with our business. Oh, wait, no. What do these signs say? Ah, okay. Yeah, they all, I think they all say the same thing. If any of them will take you back to where you need to go. So, okay, let's get out of here. Well, I don't know if I have to get out of here, but I do want to uh, put our song soaring, or what is it? Song of soaring to use because I want to put a bet in at the, uh, what was that? At the lottery there, now that it's uh, day two. So let's see what numbers we got here for that. Okay, let's see. For this day, the numbers were 267. So let's head on over there. Oh yeah, I want to uh, deposit most of my rupees here because we're going to be finding quite a few of them at this point. If you're playing the Nintendo 64 version, you may want to walk back to deposit some rupees or just use the... Well, you know, you don't want to use the Song of Time because that would reset everything. But uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so let's go... I want to keep 11 rupees. Okay, yeah, there we go. Good, good. Okay, so yeah, let's head on over to the uh, lottery at this point. And I also want to show you something that I uh, didn't before at that swordsman's school or whatever was going on with that. Is anyone even here, or is that just a sign with all this text written on it? But, uh, yeah, I do want to buy it. So, yeah, let's grab that. 267, yes. Oh, okay. Well, now that we've got the Song of Soaring, uh, yeah, we don't really need to worry about that. But, uh, if you're playing the Nintendo 64 version, obviously, you don't care about the lottery, so... Just don't worry about it. But in this version, there is an entry into the... Uh, what was it? Uh, the Bomber's Notebook. Now, there's one thing I wanted to show you that I didn't before. The uh, novice course at the Swordsman's School there. So, let's see what we got. Do those symbols on the back wall there mean anything? I don't know. But in any case, yeah, let's uh, try the novice course here. You don't get anything out of it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I just call them side hops, but okay. So when you got a lock on a target, you can go hold right on the circle pad in A or left on the circle pad in A to kind of, yeah, side hop. And then we got a roll. If you hold down in A, you do a backflip. And then we got our sword skills. So let's see. Oh. Sorry, I uh, just got a 
itchy trigger finger there. So if you don't target something, yeah, you do a horizontal cut. And then if you have a target, then, or a target lock, then you got that, the vertical cut. And let's see. If you hold up and B, then you do a thrust and then a jump attack. So let's see what we got. So that's how you're supposed to know to do the jump attack on the logs for the expert course there. But uh, yeah, there you are. So uh, yeah, thanks for letting me know about that. But uh, yeah, I already know about the shield. So we're all good. Okay, let's get back to where we were. Uh, let's see, I want to go back to the southern swamp there. And get that boat ride. So, let's see. Well, only one place for us to go. So, well, I mean, there's other places we could go. Just, I haven't unlocked them yet. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, let's just get back up there then. Oh, I could have, uh... Talk to the business scrub at Clock Town there. Eh, I forgot about it. It's not a big deal. I mean, you can still... I think you can buy magic beans from the guy still. But, uh... Well, I can't do that yet. Well, what do you mean? Uh-oh. Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to get the boat ride? What do you mean, a pictograph? Sorry if I went through that a little quickly, but, uh... He wanted us to give him a picture, and we don't have one. Oh, really? Isn't that you, though? Oh, okay. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, let's see what we got going on here. Was there a... Uh... No, I thought there was something else over here, but, uh... Okay, so now, yeah, Kome is here. Hey, hey, all right. Oh, and what do we get? The Pictograph! I don't really like Pictographs in Zelda games. Oh, well. But at least it's... You only use it, like, a few times, but... Yeah, I'm not really a fan of it. Now, in the 3DS version of the game, the pictograph box replaces that first-person view button on the low or the upper left of the bottom screen there. Now, let's see. At this point, I do not want to uh, pull out the pictograph box. But, uh, you could, if you wanted, just go into a first-person view now instead. But, uh, no, I'm not gonna use that. Let's see. Well, there's where the potion shop used to be. And, let's see, I think someone was talking about, like, an octopus or something or other around here. No? Okay. I can't even do anything other than the pictograph. Like, pull out a weapon or... What is it? Roll around or move around at all? Oh, hey, there's a little frog over there. Remember that for later, viewers. A big Octo. Hmm, I remember that guy being a little tricky in the last game, but, uh, no, that's why we got, uh, well, whatever those things are at the front of the boat. Not really a harpoon. Or... Whoa! What happened to the water around here? So, yeah, that big octo is why we need the boat cruise, so that way we can get through it. Otherwise, I don't know that we could damage it. But, all right, here's the Deku Palace. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. If you say no, the path will circle around back to the tourist center there. Oh, were you the monkey that I saw before? Oh, yeah. No wonder it's a different color. Reminds me of Final Fantasy VI. Hmm. If only there were a way we could get into that Deku Palace there. Nuts. Okay, okay, I'll get there. What do we got here? Oh, okay. 
Well, anyway, let's get over here and, well, see what we got around here at the Deku Palace. And I'll just tell you, to get in, you got to use your Deku mask. I mean, yeah, pretty obvious. And let's see, over here. Well, actually, no, hold on. I'll show you something new in just a moment. Now, you can swim in the water as Hylian Link, but you'll take damage. So, yeah, use the Deku mask so that you can cross the water easily and uh, get into the palace. Hmm. Oh, okay. Never mind. But as we all know, when someone tells you not to do something in a video game, you must then therefore go do it. Absolutely. So let's see what we got. For now, we'll just do as they suggest. So, like a throne room or something you got here? Well, let's see what's going on. Hey, how's it going? Whoa! Well, no wonder you're gonna string them up. Oh, okay. Whoa. Calm down. Okay, what do we got here? Hey, how's it going? Oh, well, yeah, I would be too. Not anymore. Oh, you guys have troops? You're Dekus. Oh, yeah, so I am. I just got a funny looking hat. Oh, okay. So, wh where did he put her then? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Doesn't he deserve, like, a last request or something? Well, well, I'll just tell you, we're gonna have to go there. Oh, okay. So that's, like, the musical instrument that we got there in the lower left there instead of the ocarina when we're wearing the Deku mask. So, yeah. Target the monkey there. Press the A button. So that we can talk to them. Nuts. I get the feeling I'm about to be drafted. <sighs> of course I'm going to have to save her. Okay, let's see what we got here. For a picture, let's see, we got the Deku King there. That'll be good enough. And yeah, you want to take a picture of him to get a pretty good reward. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, well, that depends on your definition, but, uh, no, I didn't see any way of getting in there. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I was about to say, if only there were an item that could help us get up there. But there is. We just haven't gotten it yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're good to go. So the outer garden is, well, the other two doorways that we have here. And one of us will take it to the end. The other one, we get an item at the end of it. But yeah, that's about it there. Now over here, we got something new to the 3DS version of the game. I think they're called Quill Statues or Save Point or something or other, but basically they work the same as the owl statues, except you can't warp to these ones. You can only warp to the owl statues with the uh, Song of Soaring there. But can't we find a way to reach the monkey in the Deku Palace? Find out next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!